Hey, Chuck, it's me, Serena. I was just wondering why you love the legendary Carol Burnett. I know the reasons why I love Carol Burnett. And everybody, if you don't know who Carol Burnett is, I think it's time we talk about who this lady is. Chuck, why do you love Carol? What does she mean to you? Well, that's a pretty easy question to answer. I've loved Carol Burnett since I was a little child. Um, it was a lonely childhood. I didn't have a lot of friends. And literally television was my friend. And there were so people like Lucy, um, Don Knotts, Andy Griffith, uh, Carol Burnett. These were my friends. Carol Burnett in particular, when she would come out there each week at the beginning of her show and just speak as herself to the audience, she just felt like a, a trusted friend. I always felt comforted by her. She always made me laugh. And it was particularly her, her Eunice character that reminded me so much of my mother. I mean, my mother had the same, literally the same hairdo. She had the same Southern accent. She had the same angst. And Carol Burnett helped me to find humor in something that maybe was not such a happy situation with my mother. She, if anything, she gave me empathy, understanding, comfort. So it was many years later when my mother passed away it if anybody's ever gone through that you go into like a primal place and my sister called me with the news i'd been expecting it i knew it was coming for several weeks but in the conversation i unexpectedly blurted out i need to talk to carol burnett which yes that was a very strange thing to say my sister was like what and i was even like what too but it wasn't Carol Burnett the star, it was Carol Burnett the person who had always comforted me as a child. I needed her in that moment. And I guess somehow I put a plea out to the universe. Something got heard. Maybe it was my mother on the other side. You see, my, my mother did not want a funeral. She did not want a memorial service. It was 3,000 miles away. My father, who met very well, did not want me flying back there. He said, well, there's nothing to come here for. But yet I didn't have any closure and I felt like I was underwater that week. That was really hurting. And you know, 10 days after my mother died in the Century City Mall here in Los Angeles, I ran into Carol Burnett and I blurted out, my, my mother just died a few days ago. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I said, but, but you have to understand that what you meant to me and how much you meant to my mother and how much you made me laugh and you comforted me. And I just had to tell you that. And she hugged me so tightly and cried. And I cried a little too. And it was, it was a brief meeting, but in the strangest way, that was my memorial service for my mother. That was my closure. And I felt a lot better after that. And I, I really saw from that point on that Prayers, pleas to the universe definitely get heard. And that's what happened with with me. So how's that for an answer, Serena? Soft pause. Thank you so much. Um, please like and subscribe my channel, Chuck's Captivating Chronicles, and Serena Soft Paws, aka Sasha. <laughs> Sasha's Siamese Secrets. Thank you.